Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Senator Matt Canavan tweeted, Ever since we signed up to net zero and the climate wars were declared over, interest rates have gone through the roof, electricity prices have skyrocketed, grocery bills have hit record highs. Thanks, net zero. Siobhan, you're right, Matt, we've had enough of the climate madness going on and it's time for a return to common sense governance of this country. Bilbo Baggins, not true, Matt, the sunlight powering my panels still costs nothing and now I have a battery T checks to Vic government. I can store this zero cost power for use outside daylight hours. How good is leaving expensive fossil fuels behind? Fritz crazy lefty nature. Oh, and here's me thinking it was large corporations, banks, and energy companies forcing up prices and scourging the people when all along it was the policy of net zero, which is still to take effect, causing all our woes. Bonobo. Ha ha. Why does anyone listen to old cosplay? There's no climate war, there's just Australians, present and future, and then there's the multinational fossil fuel companies, their lobbyists, the politicians beholden to them, and the billionaires they've created enriching themselves. Skyle. We've also had two solar eclipses and three partial lunar eclipses. Don't forget those, Maddie. I bet Alba was behind those as well, eh? Wouldn't have happened under the libels? Peter Campbell. Wages up, budget surplus, interest rates steady and trending down. Wholesale power prices down, tax cuts for all taxpayers. Swinging easy with Albanese. Sanity. On what planet are you on? Three million households, including yours I understand, have solar on their roof and therefore pay lower electricity bills. Net zero is great for the Australian economy. Tyroga. Um, profits for banks, power companies, and supermarkets have all gone through the roof, almost like it's not net zero, but corporate greed making things harder for your constituents. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.